Hmm. Oh, Kirk Cousins signed a uh, one-year extension, $35 million guaranteed. Tom Brady unretired? You're listening to the Greeks Gridiron, live with Ethan Haristadoulou. Welcome back, everyone, to the Greeks Gridiron. I am Ethan Haristadoulou. It is March 14th, 2022. Tampering for the NFL's free agency starts today at noon, but we have a big headlining story to kick the week off. Last night, Tom Brady himself took to Twitter to announce his unretirement after about six weeks of sitting back and enjoying himself and hanging out with stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, who he posted a video with literally just yesterday of him asking him if he was done and him grimacing and going, I don't know. He has finally decided after all the hoopla, New England sports talk has been all on the Brady coming back hype train. I have seen numerous people talking about it. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't really think he was going to come back. There was a piece of me that felt like it was more just the New England media not being able to let go of their beloved Tom Brady. And I felt like it was people just having a hard time of him being gone because there was a piece of me when Peyton Manning was retiring, albeit Peyton Manning was a shell of his former self by the time he retired. I kind of felt the same way when he was gone. So I just thought, okay, well, you know, a couple of months will go by and everyone will kind of move on. Brady will fade away into retirement, but that did not happen, obviously. And then it came out last night. Tom himself took to Twitter. I got the tweet here for you guys. He said, these past two months, I've realized my place is still on the field and not in the stands. That time will come, but it's not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. They make it all possible. I'm coming back for my 23rd season in Tampa. Unfinished business. Let's effing go. So exciting stuff, obviously. Tom Brady coming back. That means a world of a difference for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and ultimately shifts what they're going to have to do in the remainder of this offseason starting today with free agent tampering opening up. I think... This probably gives the Buccaneers a very large sigh of relief and a weight lifted off their shoulders because there was some questions as to who exactly was going to be QB1 for the Buccaneers going into this season, and I don't think the Buccaneers really even knew. I don't know if they were completely sold on handing the reins over to Kyle Trask, and then there was the talk that, you know, maybe they run it back with... Potentially, I I saw some people talk Jameis Winston. I never really thought that that was the case. I don't understand how anyone could have really thought that, but I saw it in a couple places. Then there was a talk that they were going after Deshaun Watson. That was something that was starting to heat up as we were getting closer and closer to this free agent period opening up. There was a lot of talk about who could potentially be QB1 over there in Tampa Bay. And now it's just going to be the GOAT himself, and that solves a really big question for them. And I'm sure Tampa Bay fans are excited, and I'm sure that the coaches, the owner, the GM, they're all happy about it as well. Couple that with the fact that the Bucs then went right ahead and re-signed center Ryan Jensen to a three-year, $39 million deal, helping to keep the line intact. They already lost Ali Marpet earlier in the offseason. He retired himself at a very young age of, I believe, only 29, if I'm not mistaken. Couple that with the fact that there is a strong potential that if Rob Gronkowski is coming back, it's going to be in Tampa Bay. I know that Gronk was kind of, he's mulling whether he wanted to retire or not, and I'm sure he was probably waiting to see with all the hoopla around Tom Brady what he ultimately ended up doing. And there was a lot of rumors starting to spin that Buffalo was very interested in him. And if Brady wasn't coming back, Gronk's a Buffalo guy. That's something that I 110% could have saw. I think Josh Allen is a he, he Gronk and Allen would have been an exciting pairing to see. I think Gronk still has a handful of years left in the tank, especially after taking that year off and it's clear that he's being given a less less aggressive kind of schedule to keep his body intact and in shape so he can stay healthy. He's got a few good years left of football in him. I mean, when he gets going and when him and Tom were hooking up, Gronk looked like Gronk. And I mean, is he the same Gronk from, you know, four or five, six years ago? Probably not. He's getting older, but he still can make those contested catches. He makes defenders bounce right off of him. I mean, so if he's coming back, it's not to Buffalo anymore. It's 100% going to be with Brady in Tampa Bay. That's for sure. So when you look at the offense now, 
Brady, Godwin, Mike Evans, because they tagged Godwin. Mike Evans is obviously still there. Gronk would be coming back to the Buccaneers if he's coming back. He's definitely not going to play with another quarterback if Brady's slinging the ball in Tampa Bay. All they really have to do now on offense, find another piece for the offensive line to replace Marpet, figure out who your running back number one is going to be because both Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones are free agents here. I'm assuming they probably try to bring one of the two back, and now that Tom Brady is back, I'm sure that they can maybe finagle a little less money out of those two players or even just one of those two players to get them to come back and stay. I would like to see Leonard Fournette stay there, but Ronald Jones is a very good and serviceable back as well. He might end up being cheaper as well. I feel like Leonard Fournette might command a little bit more money-wise just because of his past history and then the more recent success he had in Tampa Bay. But the complete just flip of what the Buccaneers now have to do this off season has, it's going to make a world of a difference for this team. And it gives the Buccaneers at least another year to kind of plan post Tom Brady of what's going to happen. It's very interesting to see how this all went down. And I can't believe we're sitting here today and Brady's actually coming back out of retirement. There's going to be a lot of conversation about it in the next few days. People are going to talk about whether he was looking for attention and he just wanted the media coming after him, you know, just going at it for the last six or seven weeks, however long it's been now. Is Brady retired? Is he not retired? Is he going to come back? Why did he retire if he's mulling coming back already? Whatever the situation may have been, he obviously took the time and realized, look, I'm not ready to step away. And I'm assuming that he had a joint discussion with his family and they were more than willing to let him go back to doing what he loves. The guy was literally second in MVP running this past season and has a very good case for why he should have been MVP. It all makes sense why he's back. A lot of people are probably going to talk about him trying to force his way to the 49ers. Here's my opinion on that. I don't think it happens. It logistically does not make sense. I don't know why Brady would try to force his way out of Tampa Bay after having a pretty disastrous end in New England and then to go and win a championship in Tampa Bay. I I know that there has got to be an emotional tie now with this organization for them to have taken him in and built a team around him to be successful enough to win in his first year there and make it to the divisional round of the playoffs the second year. It's not like they lacked success while he was there. I don't see why he would try to force his way out and I get it. it you know the 49ers are his home team and whatnot and that's who he grew up rooting for and I've seen some people spin that narrative that would be really ugly and it wouldn't make sense for either side the 49ers have Trey Lance they could also just run Jimmy G back for another year and not have to give up a bunch of compensation for Brady because Bruce Arian said it himself they're probably not or not probably they're not going to make that trade he called it bad business himself I don't think he goes anywhere. I'm pretty sure he stays in Tampa Bay. There is still a good enough roster there that they can contend. I would say that he won Super Bowls with the Patriots that were lesser rosters than what they currently have in Tampa Bay right now, arguably. So I don't think he tries to force himself out anywhere. I think he stays in Tampa Bay. And it'll be interesting to see how they kind of shape the rest of this offseason now, knowing Brady's going to be back. They're going to have to work some money around. But this is big news. Big news for my Tampa Bay fans, let me know in the comment section down below. What are you excited about? Are you happy Brady's back? Are any of you unhappy that he's back? I would be shocked to hear anyone say that they are, but are you excited to see the GOAT come back for another year to run it back a third season and see if he can win another Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? He's 39 touchdowns away from breaking the passing touchdown record for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He only needs 39, and I believe he had 40 this past season. Maybe it was more than 40. I can't remember the number altogether, but I mean... The guy is knocking down records. I, I'm sure somebody has mentioned that to him, so he's going to obviously eyeball that number this next season here. Tom Brady's not gone. Year 23, he's back, and the NFL collectively all probably just died a little bit because they thought they finally got rid of him, but nope. He's back again for another year. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. My Bucks fans, my fans that aren't Bucks fans, are you sick and tired of seeing Brady? Let me know. I appreciate you all for watching. I'll catch you guys later today for all the free agent action that's going to be going on starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time.